Let's connect Studio 3D to the MongoDB Atlas cluster that you set up in the previous section. On the Studio 3T Global Toolbar, click the Connect button to open up the Connection Manager. Then in the Connection Manager, click New Connection. Type Connect 1 for the connection name. If you're connecting to MongoDB Atlas, click the From URI button and then type or paste the connection URI generated by Atlas. Click OK. You can also use Studio 3T to connect to a local instance of MongoDB. The server settings, including the members section, which points the local host using port 27017, should match the default MongoDB settings. You shouldn't need to change any of the existing settings to connect to a local MongoDB instance. You can verify the connection is working by clicking the Test Connection button. The Connecting dialog box will display a list of connectivity tests and their statuses as they happen. When completed, they should all display a status of OK. Click OK and then click Save to save the new connection. The Connect1 connection should now be listed. Ensure that the Connect1 connection is selected and then click Connect. Studio 3T will connect to this MongoDB instance and display the connection in the connection tree on the left. Taking a closer look at the connection tree for a moment, you should see the three default databases, admin, config and local. Points where pathways intersect are called nodes, so this point would be referred to as the local database node. In the connection tree, right-click on the connection and click Open IntelliShell. IntelliShell is Studio 3T's built-in Mongo shell with advanced features for writing commands directly against MongoDB. In the top text box, type or paste the following MongoDB script. This simple script creates a database named DB1, adds a collection to it named Collect1, and populates that collection with three simple documents. Click the Play button to execute the entire script. We need to refresh our connection before we'll see the changes. Right-click the top-level connection and then click Refresh All. You should now see the DB1 database node, and if we expand the Collections node, you'll see the Collect1 collection. Wherever you are in Studio 3T, you can open a collection by double-clicking it in the Collection tree. You can have multiple collections open simultaneously as separate tabs, which is really useful when you need to be switching back and forth between different collections. If you have Session Restore enabled, accessible from the Quick Start tab, all of your open tabs will preserve state next time you start Studio 3T. Let's stick to the Collect One tab for now. Here we can verify our documents. You should see three documents in the collection. MongoDB automatically adds an underscore ID value to each document unless you specify your own value. Click the Visual Query Builder button in the upper right corner. This launches the Visual Query Builder in a separate pane to the right. The VQB is a graphical interface for building queries that retrieve data from the collection. You can configure your query via drag and drop, selecting from a drop down list or just by typing it in old school. In the Query section, click the plus button to expand the form. Select the Field 2 field from the first drop down list. Select the Greater Than operator from the second drop down list. Select the Double option from the data type list and then type 11.5 in the value field. In the sort section, click the plus button and select the field 1 field from the first drop down list. This query will return all documents where the value of the field 2 field is greater than 11.5 and then it'll sort the results by the field 1 field from smallest to largest value. Click the run button at the top of the visual query builder. The results tab should include only the two documents with a field 2 value greater than 11.5. Close the Collect 1 Collection tab and the IntelliShell tab. If prompted to save changes, click No. We don't need this database anymore, so right-click the database in the connection tree and select Drop Database to remove it and its associated data.